I'm green. We are live. Hey, everybody. Are you tiny home crazy? Like, we're tiny home crazy? Yeah. Tiny home crazy. <laughs> Is that what, hey, remember, remember, uh, um, oh, what was his name, Amanda, on The Shining? Oh, yeah, Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny. Here's, here's Johnny. <laughs> Man, that was big for the day. Yeah, it was. was. Super scary. Yeah. That and Carrie. Remember Carrie? <laughs> that was scary. Everybody, we are tiny home crazy. I hope you guys are tiny home crazy. We absolutely are just, we have just started this dream. Even though we're five years in this thing, it feels like we have just come out of the shoot mm -hmm. and it's starting to fall together. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you a couple. Not a couple, we got one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight homes just in here, and we pulled out three or four. And now- That means more coming in. A lot more coming in. Uh -huh. we're, we're scheduling out trying to build 20 in a month, starting sometime next week as these trickle out and get going. Now, there's some really cool builds in here tonight. I know we went through a couple yesterday, but I just was walking in and we got a reverse loft. We have a couple 10 foot wides. We've got one here that's looking crazy. I'm gonna show you what we did with this one here today. Um, this one's- this awesome framed in and uh we got a yellow house that was painted yellow today i that think was it was not painted yes, yellow beautiful yesterday. it's coming out really cool looking so stay tuned buckle up grab your milkshake no you grab can't your milkshake. oh you don't want to drink a milkshake you want a green tea or black tea or water all right come on everybody we're going to show you what we're doing and i hope you guys are enthusiastic about tiny homes like we are Every time we build one, what are we at, man? 370 some homes we built. Somebody, it's so funny you say that. Somebody just said, "Do you have a count on that?" And we are close to 400 homes. You serious? Yeah, we're close we gotta to be. it. We got a board. It's got 46 names on it. 46. And we can't. It's we've got. I'm sorry, 45. 45 names, and we have to have. An, we have another 20. We need to add to that. Yes. So we are going to get into building 20 homes. I do not like being three and four months out. No. We are going to try to knock these out so you don't have more than a 30, 60 day wait. Yeah. I want to do all I can, everybody. So that's what we're gearing up. We've got a, a dream team that we're really putting together. So hang in there. We'll show you how we do business. We'll show you how we're trying to get ahead and how we're making things happen here at Incredible Tiny Homes in Newport. The beautiful sun is out. The rain is gone for a couple days. And it, it has been gorgeous today. It is just beautiful. We've been inside all day, but it has been gorgeous yeah. today. All right, so come on, there's all kinds of news happening about, you know, certifications and the communities, and I want to take you to the community tonight. Okay. I want to take you to the beach community tonight. I want to take you to the forest community oh, tonight. Then. Let's go, oh come on. God. All right, we're going to, I mean, this is going to be like, Quick. like how you power date, Amanda. Remember how you put like eight guys and you power date like speed every other dating. weekend? Yeah, speed yeah, dating. Speed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amanda is a man eater. <laughs> look at this. I love, look at this old piece of wood. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. And we go get it, and then they kind of feel out where they want to actually put it in the house. Amanda, I'm going to go through this fast. Amanda. Amanda, Mamanda, come on. Mama. Amanda, Mama. <laughs> French door, freedom style home with a dormer. Now, everybody, I, we're going to try to go fast. We've got a lot of ground to cover. So just keep watching, keep listening. And if you have any questions, you go to our website. But we have to tell the size and the person's last name first. I'm sorry. We have to. They want to know whose house this is. Well, they don't know who it is. They don't know. They're like, is that my house? Is that somebody else's house? I don't know. It's tagged on the front. All right. This is DeLeo 8 by 20. DeLeo. DeLeo. De De All right. 8 by 22. Come on. Beautiful home. I want to point out really quick. Now, just stay with me. I'm sorry, but there's just so much information to cover. All right, so this is a yellow pine one by six tongue groove floor. All right, see how beautiful that is? That will shine up and sand, and then you could stain it, urethane it. It looks gorgeous. Hi. This is Anthony up here working tonight, hey, working Anthony. a little bit over. He's doing some trimming. Yeah. Um, these are stairs. This is the living room up here. This is called a reverse loft. This is the bedroom under here. All right. Nothing was there yesterday. V grooving yeah. and everything. You have an egress window under here. All right. So you have an egress window. There's a there's actual what we call these are hopper windows mm -hmm. to the left. So you got two windows. This would you actually got more room under here and as a bedroom than you would up there in the loft. That is true. Okay. So let me come out here. 
because we can make the ceiling a little better. And then this is the living room up here. Right? Now look, you've got four windows up here, right? Plus a great big egress window. Yes. Done, everybody. This is live, airy, room, everything. You got it, right? That, that's not an egress. Is that an egress window? Yes. Oh, okay. It's a legal egress window because this sash opens all the way up and you got more than 5.3 square feet to get out. Perfect. But Perfect. Could they have had a fixed glass right there? They could have had anything. They, they could have had a dinosaur standing there, Amanda, oh, if they wanted yeah, to. Here there we go. Today. Here all right. Today. French doors. Now turn around, Amanda. Look here. Look here. Full size bathtub. Now somebody said last night that other tub was for puny people, right? Yes. Well, how's this one? Look here. I'm kicked back. Still for puny people. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Give me. It's, it's still for the puny. Hey Ma! <laughs> what are you cooking? What is she doing there all day? I never know. I never know. When he, he said, Ma, give me some meatloaf! Ma! Give me some meatloaf! <laughs> Oh, sorry, everybody. Yeah, they, hey, that's from Wedding Crashers, right? And it, we, yes, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and look, you got a hot water heater here. Hot this is water. the gas line coming in. Gas this line. is the old pooter right Ooh. there. And then there's your vanity, your tub, done. Beautiful home for a rental or even to live in. And, but this is for a rental. What? No, we don't, we can and we got a loft up here. Okay. All right. A secondary lock. Okay. Done. We, oh. Man, we spent a lot of time in here. I thought yeah. we were just going to do it really quick. Listen. He's got his grunge music. <laughs> All right. Let's hey. go. I'm coming. Thank you, Anthony. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. All right. All right. I love the copper roof over here. All right. We didn't do much in here because they're getting ready to spray foam. Okay. Do you want me to get the name and the length and everything? Uh, ah, it's because the way you are. Okay, It's sick of What size? Eight by sixteen. Yep. And look at the size of that dormer. Now this is eight by sixteen, but man, does it not look bigger than this? Yeah, look at that. That dormer is like two foot longer because it's got a set of steps in it. And I never really was a fan of the copper roof, but I'm becoming more of a fan. I love the copper. Yeah. <clears throat> See how the, the roof, well, let me show you. The roof line, we're getting ready to spray foam in here, so we've got it all wired. We take photographs. Now that we're being ANSI certified, everything is documented, oh, documented before, but we right, take pictures before. of it. And there's a few extra things. We were doing everything before that was just asking a, a few grounding issues that we had and changing out the boxes. But this is a staircase that comes up, and that's why these windows are set at different size or different heights. Mm -hmm. And so they got a staircase that goes up in a 16 foot in a home. 16 foot. So that's under all it is, the 16 So under the staircase, right? You got a kitchen. And this is only eight? Yep. Hey, let me pull out my old trusty. Oh, I can't believe it. You're shocking everybody. Oh, I'm on it, man. So I told you I told you 2020 was going to be oh, a year. Yep, eight foot, baby. My goodness. You're in the back, back there, you're in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom, which is really small, but it's really practical. Yep. It's all you need. Big window. Look at this 303 window over the kitchen. Love it. I'm looking into some windows, everybody. I'm actually looking for a company, looking into a company, so we can have a garden window Ooh. and an awning window for a good oh, price. So good. I'm hunting. I'm saying, hey, everybody, we're looking at building 200 homes in a year. I want some deals on some windows. Um, now, she's got a bigger loft, it looks like. Let me see. Well, <laughs> what's that guy that <laughs> Yep, it's bigger. It's bigger. All right, let's see what it now, is. That's bigger, Randy. A lot. Pull the tape. A lot bigger. It's eight foot four inches. And yes, of course, it's not real copper, everybody. It's, it's copper paint on the thing. It's not real copper? Stop it. If it was, we got ripped off. <laughs> if it was real copper, we would get ripped off. All right, let's go. Okay. So, two. 8 okay. by 16, freedom style home with an extra long dormer, everybody, and stairs. All right, egress window in the top. This is a 10. Let me go get the name, Amanda. Oh, 
We're never going to get out of here. It's going to be, I can't believe it. All right, Amanda. 10 by 20 Wilman. This is an RJO 10 by 20. So if you go on our, I just said. Does that mean I didn't say it? Apparently. Toledo. Wilman. Wilman. This is an RJO. Okay. So if you go to RJO Freedom and Craftsman on our website, the prices an RJO is the base price okay. home. But you can, and this is what I said. She has a hall. Listen to me. You cannot beat this. This is an RJO, mm -hmm. all right, our least expensive home, and it's 10 by 20. Yes. Look what you're getting. 10 feet. Look at the size of this thing. <clears throat> so what she did is she got an RJO yeah. and added a mini split. Done. And she got a 10 by 20. <laughs> Sometimes you're just funny. Ah! <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. She maximized her space big time. Well, she listened to me is why. Oh, is that what she did? Yeah. Now look here. Okay. Here's the pooter, right? Indeed. You got here. You got, a, you got, ugly. what? You got the water heater here and a big 48 inch shower. Oh. Look at this. You're talking about, look. La -dee -da. La -dee -da. I think you shaved your legs now. No. I think that's what's been going on. That's all I hear is women you like to shave her legs. Oh, gosh. All right. And you look at the window up top. Isn't yeah. that cool? Mm -hmm. I got one in my bathroom. Love it. Who put that in your bathroom, Amanda? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And down here's the kitchen. So you got a 10 foot. What is this? If you're 10 foot, if you're nine, let's see, 10 foot wide house. Yeah, I'm whipping it. <laughs> hey, you know what Benji just said? You know what Benji just said? He said, who put that window in? Benji said, Tom did. <laughs> 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 hey, something about right there, yeah. Benji. Oh, what do we think I do? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it's, one, it's 114 and a half. Yes. So she got 104, almost a 10 foot wide countertop. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, oh, I didn't know. I thought there was more. Oh, look at the big kitchen across there. I can't get over the little hallway. I mean, she's actually got like a little hallway when you walk in. little entry, like you can come oh, in entry, here. Entry, yes. Entry. Put oh. there. Put your keys up. Hang your coat. Hang your keys. Coat. Mail. Put your mail in there. Kick off your shoes oh, and you, go. Don't kick her out. I didn't mean to. Oh, my God. But there ain't no way you'd have stuff hanging on the wall. You, you'd tear it all down. You'd throw it away. Let's go. Miss Wilman. Gosh, all right. RJOs, everybody. And Travis said 10 by 20 is a perfect size. Well, Good. thank you, Travis. What? <laughs> oh, he's sticky today, Travis. All right. All right, everybody. You guys ready for this? Stop. Oh, stop. Collaborate and Remember, listen. Remember, the next house you're about to see is being framed in by Albert. Eyeball Albert and it. Jeff. Now, you know what he's I did? Eyeball. I told them, look, guess what I did? Uh -huh. I told them, take their tape measure and throw it away. <laughs> I told them to take their level and throw it away. Almost took the pencil away too. Rude. Now they look, can use a nail. Look what they're doing. Come here. Okay. Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't see. What do you, see? you don't see how that wall's crooked? Well, there's too many, too many see how it's. All right. First of all, let me point to you. Stop! Oh my God! I really can't see. You see how that's arched up? I bet Travis can see. See how it goes up and arched like that? Oh, stop. You can't see it. Now, look. Look up here. The ridge beam goes up and it sags, goes up and down. The walls are all curvy. That, that gable end is crooked. It goes out to the side. The rafters are crooked. Everything's... We'll mess it up. <laughs> the candy wampus. That's on purpose. Yes. All this stuff is to make this house look just like it's <laughs> falling said apart. That house looks like I built it. <laughs> hey, come here. Let me show you this. Look at that wall, how it's leaning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? That looks like I built it. That's going to be fun. Hey, and. Uh, no, can't tell nothing. I can't, it's, come here. See this, see this wall, how it's leaning? Catch up with me, man. Stay. 
It's like so slow. Oh, I know. See how I'm it's so leaning? Slow. And see the ridge cap? It goes up. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I want you to just look at what, come here and look at what I'm looking at, okay? What do you see? Bunch of toothpicks. <laughs> well, it, oh, God forbid you pull the phone down and look at what you're looking at. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is a t it's an 8 by 24. 8 by 24. With a four foot porch on the back. Oh, wow. All right, so it's really 8 by 20 home. Okay. And this is Mr. Moss, M-O-S-S, -S, going to Utah. It's an 8 by 24 with a four foot porch, so it's 8 by 20 house with a four foot porch. Oh. It's 8 by 30. Okay. okay. I don't know. For 28. God. I don't know what you're saying. Jeez. Okay. What's next? Another 8 by 16. This is another one of our investor. They've got four homes here. So they've got one RJO. The Leo. The Leo. The Leo. Are you going to move? Come right here. I don't know what you want me to do. It's got an air exchanger, a mini split, flat log siding, right? This is the barn door going in, Amanda. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? Isn't that cool? Oh, look at there. Yeah. Now, Bart built this, all right? Yes. Let me, come on in here, let me show you something. Let me show you something. When Bart built this, Bart is like so analytical. Everything's got to be absolutely perpendicular to everything, all right? Which makes him a great builder. So we didn't look on the, on the uh, contract and the lady wanted a splash of barn wood. So he removed the barn wood, the old trim and replaced it with regular oh, barn wood. Oh, it makes it pop. Well, look how perfect the barn wood is. I know, it looks very, <laughs> So, for him to do the crooked house, It'd be an he would he lose is. his mind. He could, he's OCD. All right? Yeah. So, he put this beam up here, which is gorgeous beam. Oh, I love that Isn't beam. That, and that's why I keep all that old stuff laying around, look everybody. How nice that looks. I keep that stuff laying around. Big chunks out of it? Chunks out of it. Yep. Hey, what's an exchanger? Somebody just asked. Air exchanger. It brings fresh air in and, and the uh, old air out and exchanges so is air. is it the same thing as raising a window or is it different? Oh, my God. Well, I'm asking. Yeah, just raise a window. <laughs> That's all you need to do. You don't need to get one of them $800. <laughs> well, I'm asking. I you know, don't know what? That'll bring fresh air in in the middle of the winter if you're up north somewhere where it's cold. And you can't open it up because And you lose can't heat. open up window and lose heat. Oh, right. Uh, they right. can, they can. Don't ask any questions. Let's roll. <laughs> Help with humidity. Thank now this you, is Benji. an RJO. Benji, and what, my friend. And our, my, what's my friend? Oh, no. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think you want to do? Oh, brother. Listen, whenever we start out the show, you want to start putting on a hat like Mr. Rogers used to. You take off one and then you put on another and then you put your slippers on and stuff. <laughs> Don't touch your face, Amanda. <laughs> It's, you can't, it's, it's germs. She's in there rubbing her face and everything. Oh, come on. We've shown this. This is a 10 by 28 home. This is a style home right here, everybody. This style home is what we're offering for the resort. I can't even get all of it in my picture. It's so big. All right. So at the resort is a 10 by 28, 10 by 26, and 10 by 30. This is a freedom style. Yeah. With wood siding, you can. But there'll be a double dormer. It's a. This is a very roomy house. Big. All right. Beautiful. Now that's so for the steam shower. That's an example. No. Oh, okay. No. Cancel nope. that. Not the steam That's shower. a ten by twenty, and it's outside. Okay. Yeah. This is the one with the handicap shower. What size was it? Ten by twenty-eight. Ten by twenty-eight. Yeah. Big house. Yeah. Okay. Now this one here is the one we had. The, uh, the tile where Will was here yesterday. It's got the grapevine railings. Here, we'll run through it real quick and just show, okay? Will is like, I told him today, I said, everybody wants a tile now. He's like, his head is spinning. Aww. He's so busy. Busy. Not just here, but other places. Oh, yeah. He said, he's so busy. I said, you're going to yeah. have to hire somebody. I said, have Randy give you one of I would love. He would love to just stay here and do tile if we had that much work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, French doors. Look at this beautiful dormer. I love to look at this because it's so 
clean, but country farmhouse yeah, looking. Beautiful. It's just like, wow, this is going to do great on a rental, Love especially it. with the railing inside. And you guys probably, you have seen it. Might be some new people wanting to see this house. Hey, uh, everybody wants to see it again because it just looks awesome. They didn't, they, didn't turn, they didn't turn the barn door around. They didn't turn it around. I don't know if I relayed that message or not. Maybe. I don't think you told that. Yeah, but beautiful. Look at the, see Love the grapevines. This come right out of the forest. Yeah. So somebody who's in their lot, you don't have any more grapevines on your lot. <laughs> but they took this out. They wrapped this. Look how they wrapped it around this post. Somebody said, I just changed my, oh, I just changed my mind. Now I want a 10 by 30. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Everybody, look. Oh, my goodness. This is our investor who's bought four. They're going to build four more. They'll have eight on a rental program so in North Georgia. Georgia. Yep. Staircase, got some old barnwood stuff in here. And then there is the, the shower that is grouted. Big shower. Oh my God, it's so Isn't is that done? gorgeous, man? It looks done. Yeah, he grouted it today. Oh. Got the soap dishes up already. Everything's good to go. Oh my goodness, look how pretty it is. Isn't that nice? And you got a can light inside the shower. Yeah. So you got a light here. You have a light over here. Yep. Beautiful. There's an outside shower on this home. Big picture window, mini split, just, this is fun. This has oh, been a. I mean, I told him, I said, I'd like to get you at my house to do Tell me we can't do anything to these homes, and we're half of the cost of everybody else. Or maybe wow. even, maybe not even half, maybe let's say a third less wow. than our competitors. Here, shut the door so they can see the other side. The side that Amanda wants to see? You guys agree that what you're looking at now, you'd rather have out towards the living room? Because you can't see, like right, right here, there's an old doorknob, part of a doorknob yeah, here. And there's like a right here. Yeah. Yeah. I go. agree with you, Amanda. Okay. We just got a flipper. Yes. All got right. A flipper. Let's go. All right. I think this is cool. Yeah, show it. Show yeah. It. They're right there. You love that? Why are they box so wide. What is that called? Why are they. Well, because there's no loft above the kitchen, we had to have something for the lights to be mounted to. Yeah, that was cool. And so the lights are parallel with the floor, so they had to come down. Oh, I like that. And they built it out of barn wood. This actual homeowner wanted some barn wood, rustic, just a flare. Oh, just wow. just some flare to and it. another exchanger. That's what they wanted. Well, good for them. Yep. Okay. Yeah, good for them. Good <laughs> I'm glad that set really small. Okay. Yep. All right. Now. This yellow one is the same. It's an investor home, as Amanda does not show it. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here. What size? I could shoot her. 10 by 18. 10 by 18. Perfect. Okay, now we want to All right, it's, all right. That's the outdoor shower. It'll have a door. The reason we recessed it is to keep it warm. We'll put an insulated door here mm -hmm. so the inside temperature will keep the pipes from freezing. Uh -oh. Nothing outside will freeze. That way you don't have to winterize your shower. You know what would be cool too? You could have like a birdhouse there. Could you do that on your house? Have an actual birdhouse? Yeah, and a beehive. Oh, stop it. I ain't talking to you. Here we go. Mini split, right? Isn't that beautiful? That yellow, man. I know it just pops, doesn't it? So this is 10 by 18. This is going on a rental program. Let's go and look at it real quick. Okay. This is oh. a, from our old factory. It is. It is rolling and going. Okay. We got our table saw up and going. Oh wow. We're just clicking, man. And then we got the monster truck toolbox over here. <laughs> oh, I want you to show uh, Kevin and him thing later too. What? That you showed me on the, can you show me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So let's go inside and look at this 10 by 18 home. Now, this has got the snap vinyl flooring okay. over top of the pine mm -hmm. or oh, over plywood. Different. When you walk in, you actually have a kitchen boom right there. Kitchen boom. Well, that's not, we normally don't see that. This um, investor has mm -hmm. changed everything around. All kinds of different floor plans Is to make it different. Leo? Yep. Well, 10 by 18. Okay. Here, so here's your kitchen. Kind of a dining room. So you think, they're thinking rental. 
Yeah. Okay? So a lot of times you're going to be cooking, you're going to be eating, you're going to be playing outside, and then you sleep. Yeah. Right? The thing that I, th I find kind of interesting is that they put a lot of money and space into the bathroom. They did. So, Look at that unbelievable huge barn door. Good Lord. Because we got a big opening. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Got a mm -hmm. dormer. Yep. So they got the one dormer, mm -hmm. right? Uh, egress window, big. I mean, you're talking, you can have Another air a really large bed up there, which is nice for a rental, right? Mm -hmm. So oh, you're looking, yeah. this thing is nine feet. So it's, wow. uh, it's nine by nine. That whole dormer is nine foot by nine foot. Nine by nine. Yep. But come into the bathroom, Amanda. Oh, my God. The bathroom's amazing. I mean, you got another okay. tub. Another tile. Another tile, tub. But it's a tub, not a shower. Oh, my God. Right? And over here, we had to raise this up because we have a water heater under the counter. I love that. And this is louvered. We built these louvers. Oh, my. You see this? How it's all slat? Yes. We, we built that on site. Toilet this is a countertop. This is the vanity. Toilet. And this oh. must be a closet right here. All right, we go here, and it's another tiled shower. They this got. man, look at this, look at the oh, space my goodness. that you got to walk around inside this in bathroom. The bathroom. There's more room in this bathroom than your bathroom oh, at home. Totally, at my house. Isn't that Let me amazing? Show this tile. I this love the same this color. Man. Wow. wow, this is nice. Yep. Ooh, beautiful. That's Tell a me little tub. What, what more quality do you want? Gorgeous. We got rough sawn beans, just a just a little bit of a flare, right? Amongst this yeah. beautiful spruce two by six T and G flooring. You got oh, a beam on here. Yeah. So pretty. Big barn door, another big beam out here with a little bit of accenting with our barn wood. We build our own exterior. What company builds their own exterior doors? Nobody that I know. Man. Doors are expensive too. Yep. Let's go, Amanda. Oh, okay, ready. That's a 10 by 18. So we built this door. Let's show it. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, wood doors have a personality of their own. Mm -hmm. They could, they could move. They could, they could. You know, it's not like steel. Yeah. So you'll have to contend with some of the movement over the years. It's not right there. Yeah. That's so and, cool. But that's what we do. To me. That's what makes a home. That's right. It's some of the, the things that are not just perfect in a home. And Lord, just showing, I mean, this is unbelievable custom. Everything Love it. Custom. 10 by 18. Can you mention this door really quick? How big is that barn door? Yeah, let's see. That door is 36 inches. Wow. And this opening so probably is 34. Go there, right? that, that's a 33 and a half inch opening. Oh, wow. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Okay. Yep. Now, that's a nice set of I did. Hey, see this one? This is uh, this is Kevin's off-road toolbox. Isn't that awesome? Look here. Let me show you guys. Tools in here. Look at the size of that drawer. Oh my goodness! I broke it. This one. I told. Look at all that. This slides. Yep. I don't know why that's not going back. Look here. He's going to be on me now. Oh, he's going to throw a fit. And we got this. Look here. Oh and we got this. God. Oh, my goodness. Is that not cool? Look at there. Yep. Oh. Except for this one, I have no idea. Oh, there it is. It, you have to lift this up. Isn't that nice? I love it. And he put big wheels on it so it can go over the cords and whatever yeah. we have here. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That's Here's our screen doors. Look how they're stacked, how they're stacked up. You know what Kevin needs to do with this? He needs to make it um, remote. Put a remote motor on control it. And have a motor on it. <laughs> All right. Does everybody want to take a little walk with us? You want to show that really quick about Kevin since we were just talking about Kevin? His, it kind of goes with it. That, uh. Yeah. Can you show? I mean, if you don't, if, I don't know if you. We'll can. see. Did he? May not want it showed. Kevin sent me this picture, and this is what the guys are working on. 
They're buying, this is for $99. They bought a motor and a gas tank, throttle and everything for their bicycles. So you guys are going to see these guys running around here with their, this motorized bicycle. That is so cool. We're going to try to order and several it has a more. Gas tank. So everybody can have a motorized bicycle around here. Gosh, that's That's awesome. fun, isn't it? I told <laughs> we're all like 12 years old around here. That is so yeah. cool. Now, do you want to walk? I want to go to the beach. Yes. Do we have time? Yeah, we've only been on 30 minutes. Okay, let's go to the beach. We've got two hours left. We have a community <laughs> called the beach. It's all concrete. Yes. We parked a bunch of homes out there. It looks really cool. They're not on their designated lots yet, mm -hmm. but it gives you a great idea of what we're doing. I want to show you the progress. And then I want to show you the greenery that's going on in the forest and what we're doing there. And I did talk to the state today, I talked to local officials, and it sounds like as soon as this corona is over with, we're going to be back on target. Ooh, all right? That's exciting. So come on, let's go this way. We're going to make it happen. Now, we didn't go in this one, did we? Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Minster? Minster? Eight by twenty? Meinster? Eight by twenty? Yo. And I'm. Eight by twenty? Yeah. This is what we showed time and time again. The drawers got this in here. The guys are just putting in the range hood. And we like to put cardboard down when in here working. It's got the snap vinyl flooring. And of course, behind Amanda. And I. I always assume that there's people, they watch this every night, but there are going to be people that never have seen this before. Right. Yeah. Oh, here. God, we're in here now. Yeah. Now, so we got the picture window. Yes. An extra storage loft. This is where the washer and dryer go. Yes. So this is 8 by 20. So this is just four foot bigger than a <laughs> RJO. You got a dormer up top. Yes. Which I think is cool. See how the dormer is stuck back a little bit? Yes. And you have this triangle over here. Yeah. It kind of makes it a little cubby back there. It does there. look like a cubby, yeah. Yeah, so there's all kinds of different looks. We had actually one that had a dormer in the living room, and it made it look bigger in That's here. That's true. You know, mm -hmm. it's up to you. I like I like that look right there. Yeah. And then in here, of course, is the bathtub, That's the tub toilet, about. and vanity. This is still a very large bathroom very large. for a tiny home. I mean, to think that you, you know, some people go from their toilet, right, to their sink, like, right? Yeah. Or toilet to their sink, right? This one, you got your toilet, and you have to actually walk mm -hmm. to your sink. And then you can walk to your tub. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So it's a, it's a good size bathroom. That is awesome. Okay. Let's do it, Amanda. Ready? Let's do it. All right. I love that. Ye look at yellow, green, dark green, dark gray, blue, or whatever. And then you've got natural wood down there. Look at the different. Look hey. At all that. Hey, do you mind if we walk that way and we'll go we'll go, no, go get fun. Ace? Tomorrow? Well, we're going to put one one or two there, and we're cleaning out this rack, oh, okay. and we're going to put another one here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and then we're going to get this one out, and we'll put another one here. The stove's going out, oh, so we're cleaning all this up, yeah. and we'll put another home here. So we could go one, two, three, four, five. We're trying to get about 12 homes in here, all at one time, building all one time. And then we're going to do about two more, two or three outside, and then and then do so fourteen we'll get again. To update everybody on the two, two or three new houses that come in tomorrow. Yeah. That'll be exciting. As you can tell, we need more buildings. We need more buildings. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But we'll walk this one. We'll go get my dog. Yeah. And uh, take him for a walk. And that's the house that's all crooked. See how it is? Yeah. I like 
We've got notes on here to helping the guys remember, don't forget to please to take certification pictures. All these things that we're trying to help strategize how we're building these homes. Anna's asking what's the color. I'm going to stop by uh, when we go to the office and show the colors real quick. Of what? Colors of the what? colors, the swatch colors. Of what? Of the houses. That we have going on out here? Yeah. Well, just You'd have to dig in all their files. No, 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 I mean no. the paint? Swatch. The paint? Yeah, just the, I know where it's at. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. Help me, Lord. Are you ready, Help buddy? Me, Look at Amanda. I know. He's been in here for 42 hours. He's not. He just got put in there. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Would you read these really quick and show them outside? Just really quick so everybody know the colors. That's not the color that yellow out there. The green one. Show us the green one. I think that one's, or this one. The, the dark green is paint. Oh, is it not those colors? No, that's okay. what I was saying. It's not. Oh, then we it's, need to it's find painted. out. Then yeah. we'll find out for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the yellow's painted, the green is painted. The only one that's not, well, even that dark gray one is because that's an older, uh, they ordered their, P, their LP siding before they changed out the colors. Oh, I see. Okay, yep. we'll find out. You're going to need a coat. No. All right. No, I'll be fine. I got that coat in there. No, I'll be fine. You heard her, buddy. <laughs> Come on, Hi, buddy. Daddy. I swear he's not. It should pop back on. Okay, it just popped back on. All right, All right. we're good. Come on, let's it should be. take us a walk. go from the, the router, I mean, to the Wi-Fi to my We're house. heading your way there, little fella. I watch. Somebody dump their lunch out. He'll go straight to that food. You watch. Look at all the houses. Watch him. Look. Ace, where are you going? Come on. Look. Come here, Ace. Look, he won't listen. Ace. Look. Come Ace. On. No, he wants that food. I know. He just hey. Wants hey. Where are you going? Hey, 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 where are you going? Look, he wants to head me off. Hey. Who dumped their food over there? <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Somebody threw their lunch out. I don't know what. He won't listen when there's food laying around. <laughs> and another right. dog barking. I know. All right, come here, everybody. Let's show you. Now, I want to point out a couple things that I know over the years that we've talked about. Um, you know, we're becoming ANSI certified, and that's for us to, give, to be able to provide loans for you guys to buy our homes. Mm -hmm. We've never had that before. This is a big deal for us. So, look down there. Isn't that cool? Wow. All those homes. Now, um, because we're ANSI certified, we're going to be really considered an RV. And I don't mind being considered an RV. You ready, buddy? Okay. Um, so this community and every community that I build from now on will be tiny home slash RV resort. Okay. It is a recreational vehicle. And the reason is, is because they are on wheels and they can travel. The benefit, okay, of you all owning a tiny home is they're built like homes. Now, all these are just words. You can call them an RV, you can call them a home, you can call them tiny homes, you can call them whatever you want, right? But for me to classify them so the state and officials and the government can understand what we're doing, look at them. Um, it is called an RV, right? So we're gonna have an RV resort slash tiny home, okay? okay? Yeah, there's a couple, and what they're doing is they're actually living in their RV until they can get their home built. Mm -hmm, right. right. Yeah. But look at all these beautiful homes, Amanda. Look at all the different colors, the different roofs, the different styles that we have all the way down here. And when you pull up here to the factory, this is what you see when you first pull in. This is awesome. Now, over here, let me show you what we got over here. Okay. This is where our infrastructure, our mechanics come in, our water, power, and sewer come in, right? This is secondary. It's not primary. Primary is your, is your real big power that comes in. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what's gonna happen is, that's the secondary line, comes in here, we'll have water, power, and sewer pop up right here. You'll pull your house up over top of it, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to have all of your utilities under your home. Wow. Hey, buddy, come here. And then this ditch right here will continue, it will continue across. We didn't pull it out because we're needing to run through here. It'll continue across. So all the sewer will run that way and then gone out. All right? Wow. So we, you wouldn't believe the concrete we got piled up. But I got an idea what I want to use our concrete for. Oh, really? Now, what? this is underground power. All right? So now they've got the primary for the underground power. See it? Yeah. Okay. So they got the underground power. It's already in. It's mm -hmm. not juiced up yet. All these conduits, that's for the secondary. So everybody, this is where your money is going. We've, how, how we are able to build these communities, because I do not have a half a million dollars to put this community in, is that the, the people have sent in a deposit of $6,000 per lot, mm -hmm. and I use your money to put it in, and then in return, I give you two years free rent. And on top of that, I'm gonna, if anybody wants to rent their home out on an overnight basis, we give them a two year free zero management fee mm -hmm. for two years also to help pay the mortgage down on your home if you've borrowed any kind of money or you need to make money. It's really a good deal that you're helping me build this community and I'm in return gonna help you have a home in a community at $200 a month rent. That's it everybody, 200 bucks. It is a, yeah, well, you can, everybody does. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. The thing is, it's about loans. It's about the way it's about, the state, right. the government looks at these things. And it has classify. to be, nobody knows how to classify them. Because they're on wheels mm -hmm. all the time, they're a hybrid of a home and an RV, mm -hmm. right? They're not built like an RV. Exactly. I just said that one time and I'll never call it again, but that's right. just what we got. Exactly. All right, come on. Now inside here, this is a boulevard and this big hunk of concrete is coming out the whole length of it. And we're going to fill it full of trees. It's going to take a few years to make this, this lush. This yep. Here. From here to there. So you're going to drive in, drive out like that. Wow. You'll come in, loop around and go out. You all don't realize how beautiful this is going to be when it's done. There's going to be nothing but foliage all around three sides of your home here. Look at him. Three sides of your home. You ready to walk through the forest? Yeah. Let's go. Well, let's go out here and go down Tiny Town Way. Yeah. This road out here is called Tiny Town Way. And this is um, Laguna. And that is Malibu. Isn't that cool? We named them after some famous beaches. Buddy? What do you think? He is just pulling on me. Come here. What's the different type of pulled gravel? This is reclaimed gravel, old concrete and asphalt, and it's ground to a real fine. Yeah. And we think that because of the looks of that, it is not going to look like gray gravel. And I'm looking so forward to adding that to the resort. Yeah. Because, I mean, the forest, it's just going to look so natural. That's going to look beautiful. Yeah, it's going to look gorgeous. Beautiful. Yep. All right, you ready? We got to get going, Amanda. Tiny Town Way. Tiny Town Way. Yep. Hey, you ready to go? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to let him loose, all right? Okay. Come here, watch this. Yes. Heel. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hi, honey. He's gonna explore now. Hi, buddy, honey. What do you think? Come on. You want me to hold the camera? I got it. 
Okay. Now, everything we do, again, all our utilities, of course, you know, water and everything's underground, but I put this, the power underground. So that's your utilities. Because of the coronavirus, the state of Tennessee, all inspectors are not coming on site. That's why we have water on here. This all has to be pumped out. We got to dig this back out. We got to put the power in here. So it's, it's costing us a little bit extra just because of that. But as you can see, we have transformers all down here and it looks really, it'll be so non-evasive. It'll just be, you can't see any of it. Beautiful. You know, now out here, this great big field is where I would like to have some sort of a farm going on here. Mm -hmm. I like to have greenhouses out here eventually around the, over there along that concrete is where I want some of the vending mm -hmm. to be. Now the I say, shop. I say vending shops, shops yeah. you know, retail shops. Mm -hmm. And I like to have them like a little European village of all kinds of different looking with brick mm -hmm. and all kinds of cool looking things. And they're going to be portable. And, um, look at him, Randy. He's going after them birds. <laughs> He's chasing them birds. Aw. Uh, but, but this will be a farm here. We better keep walking. So those homes over there will be gone, right? Yeah. They'll well, be gone. I, it'll be so nice and clean over there. Very clean. Another extension of the building, maybe another building if we can afford to. I hope we get to build another building. And then, of course, foliage will cover all those homes. We're going to grow trees and bamboo and all kinds of cool looking vegetation that'll oh, cover yeah. that up this is where i'd like to have under right see that bank right there that's where i'd like to have fruit trees and some vineyard going on well, like this grass right here this is nothing but mowing all you do is mow this right why don't we put something productive right here sure. you could put raised raised uh vegetable garden here the raised beds now what do you do for the water and stuff like that how, do you fill it with dirt or how does i've already talked to yump we're going to get the bulldozer in here. All this mm -hmm. has to be is just shaped a little bit and he'll, he'll, what he has, it's never been taken care of. No. It'll be sloped. So all the water will channel and go out. We got to clean those ditches out yeah. and go back to the back. It's That's never, awesome. it's just never been tended to. And I'll tell you what, for it to never have been tended to, it's just not that bad. Nah, not really. Look at his tail. He is on, he's, so excited. he's on a trail, man. Oh, he's wanting them birds. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, he's on it. Oh, he's trying to look for something. That ain't in. <laughs> he's so excited. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah, take a swim. <laughs> okay. It's getting dark, so we better get going. I know. We got to get going. We also had the, uh, man, no. what's that bird that came back over uh, there on the osprey. pole? Yeah, osprey. It came back. So they built a big nest on the Osprey. Look at him, Randy. He is happy. I mean, he, look at him. Ah. <laughs> what you looking for, Conker? Looking for a bird. Come on, buddy. See, like all this through here, any vacant ground, all this, there are acres and acres here that are not being used. And I don't really want to just mow it and weed eat it. You know, yeah, right. why can't we put vineyards and fruit trees and all kinds of stuff through here? You got 900 feet from on the forest out to the main road. It's probably 60, 80 feet wide by 900 feet. That's doing nothing but sitting there. Oh, yeah. OK, all the sewer is in. You know that? The sewer's in. Wow. Yes. And here's a lot, right? Yes. This is a lot right here that overlooks the community. Oh, yeah. Man, look, look, look at this vantage point right here. Come here. Isn't, tell me this ain't a beautiful picture. You all right? Yeah. So if, you're, if your house is parked here, you can back up your door. You can come out and have a little picnic table right here. Look, Amanda. Tell me that ain't pretty, man. Beautiful. 
So oh, that's so pretty. Look at and that. And you know what? Nobody wanted these lots. They did not. Everybody said, I don't want to be on a busy road, busy road, busy road. Out back here, it's, it's, this is a community. We're all going to be busy. There's a lot of people that are going to be living here. Oh, I love it. It's going to be so cool to just sit back here. You can look at the gardens, the little farm going, the barn to be out here, the retail shops. This is pretty. Beautiful. And across the way, you can see those mountains with the sun setting on them. Oh, my God, yeah. And in Manda, right there is the resort. Right there, as across the street. Is if we do get to develop that over there, that whole ridge line and that whole farm is part of the resort. Wow. Isn't that cool? Everybody, this is a really dream coming true. Look at where in America, where in the United States can you find that many tiny homes, a factory going on, people living in their homes, a hundred people coming here to live within the next, hopefully the next couple, three months. It'll be this year. Yes. What's, where, where, is, where is this going on anywhere in the country? And you're only paying $200 a month rent. I know. And you're paying a third less or half than anybody else in the country for your home. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, what did you want to show All right, here? Come here. I want to, yeah, I want to show you this. I thought it was so cool. I'm not going to walk down the roads. I'm going to show yeah, you something so, else. Yeah. Now we've had to, we've done this. Uh, yeah, somebody said I hear frogs. I know. I dug. We dug a ditch for our primary power, and then the coronavirus hit, and the state shut down all inspections. Mm -hmm. So now we have an open ditch here, which is going to cost us more because we got to go back and dig it out where it's caved in on us. Well, this is yeah. Yep. Might want to come on. I can't tell her anything. If, if I tell her, come on, she gets mad at me. So I say, Mindy, could you like, I don't know, if I, if I had a biscuit, I'd, here. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Ace. Isn't that pretty? See how these lots are greening up? Gorgeous. We didn't even put grass on there, Amanda. Six feet. Six feet. We can time that by six, too, if you want. Come on, let me help you over this. Good boy. All right, see down here, that's, the, that's 48 inches deep. That's for the primary power. You can see the sewer, that's the sewer line, right? And it goes out to a manhole, right? This is awesome. Everybody, you've seen all this installed throughout the year. You have, everybody has witnessed all this. This is so cool to be able to see the actual infrastructure that's being going. Here. All right, you guys ready? Come on. Wait, wait, wait a second. Just gonna... <laughs> Did you show them what you walked across? Yes. Huh? Yeah. All right. What's this, man? That's butternut, right? Yeah, and then red pine. Uh, no. Red cedar. Jack pine? Red, red cedar. Pine. Tamarack. Tamarack. Butternut. Isn't that pretty? I get, I've got the microphone. He wants to look what we're looking at. Oh yeah. So you don't it doesn't run like that all the time. Just during a good hard rain. <laughs> he likes that. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Wow. Oh, oh well, it, yeah. Let's leave him alone. Yeah. All right, everybody, this is what I wanted to show you tonight. 
because this is a designated two and a half acres. Firestone used to own this back in the 50s. And what they did is they took all of their tires and they dumped them out here and they're under the ground. You can't hardly see them. Every once in a while, you'll see one pop up. Mm -hmm. We can use the land for anything. We just can't dig in it. So I thought about putting off-grid tiny homes back here and everything, but I didn't want, you know what? I just said, you know what? Let's just use this as a park. So there's a road that wraps all the way around. You can walk inside the woods. It's really pretty yeah. and clean, but I wanted to show you what springtime is doing to the roads Beautiful. and what it looks like. Come on. When we purchased this property from the city. And this is not a road. This is not one of the lanes. No, this is the, this is the, it's the park road. So there's Jack Pine. Um, Tamarack. Tamarack, then the park. Butternut. Oh, Butternut. And then uh, Red Cedar. But I mean, is, is this before uh, Butternut? This is, no, this is back behind okay. everything. This okay. won't be accessible out there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so when we purchased this property from Cock County City of Newport Cooperative, and they were so kind to uh, work with us as a land contract with just minimal amount of money down. That's the only way we could afford this. Um, there is a 300 page document from the EPA that put this out as completely um, environmentally friendly, done, taken right. care of. Mm -hmm. It's it's good. Right. Um, so anyway. Isn't this beautiful? It's gorgeous. Look at this part. Look at this lane, Manda. Look how it wraps around. See how it wraps around? Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is come in here and clean all this up and probably keep it mowed. Yeah. And add some dirt and fill in some pockets so it's really a, a real pretty place to a picnic, relax, come and read, and you can walk around here, have some park benches along the side. But let me walk a little bit past here. and birdhouses, everything. I mean, it's just so cool. We'll just evolve into so many things. There's the railroad. Yep, right back here. Look at this lane down here, Amanda. I'm gonna walk down here and you can show a picture of me. Look how pretty and green this place is. Isn't this pretty? It's beautiful. Yeah. You know, my dad always told me, said, you can't turn a sow's ear into a silk purse, boy. Well, it's what, exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Ever since he said that, I think that's all I've been doing all that's my life. All you've done. I've been taking sow's ears and turning them into silk purses, everybody. This is a sow's ear. There is nobody in their right mind who would have ever, ever, ever thought that this would have been a beautiful place to walk, relax, no. and live. The city of Newport that come out here, the inspectors, the installers, the excavators, um, the utility guys, when they have walked through this forest, they were amazed at how beautiful the lots turned out how the wooded lots look, the roads, and how everything lays, everybody. I know I'm saying that, and you can say, well, you don't believe me because I'm trying to sell it. Well, you know, I don't have to sell it. It's already it sold out. out. It's yeah. already done. It We're booked sold. out. So I just want to tell you, if you want to come and stay in an overnight rental for some of our guests or some of our customers that have their home here, um, I think you really enjoy your stay. Because you get to enjoy the park. Yeah. And walking and everything. It's beautiful. Yeah, look, we got a factory across the street. We got a factory down at the end down there. You can slightly hear them running. And you know what? I thought about it. This is like Central Park in the middle of New York it City. Really is. And we're going to clean all this up. When we get all developed, we're going to come in here with a bush hog and clean. And, and, and that's what I want is the people. You're only paying 200 bucks a month. How far can we walk back? You can walk way back if you want. Okay. Yeah. Um, what was your plan? Yeah, well, you know what I'm, yeah, 
I'm thinking about, I've got several plans for the concrete. A couple is I'm going to actually take the concrete and dig a ditch, right? And I'm going to set the concrete up like a wall. And I'm going to make raised flower beds. I mean, raised garden beds. Oh, that's great! So we're going to—I'm going to put them in the ground and make long, mm -hmm. about four to six foot wide. We're going to put topsoil in it. We're going to build our own organic hummus and what do we call that stuff? Or and orga yeah, organic, yeah, organic, exactly. all that mm -hmm. ashes from our wood stoves, from your all's composting of your fruits and vegetables oh, and all good. that. So we're going to have raised vegetable beds here. Look, everything is so green and growing. Look at the size of that tree. We're going to have our soil tested. Um, we have the state of uh, um, Tennessee University, University of Tennessee. They've got an ag department there. Yeah. So we're going to send off samples of our soil to see what's in it, how good it is, whatever's going on with it, um, add to it, take it away. So we want to be able to, I really would like, and I know I mentioned this if you haven't heard it before, but I really like to see about turning this place into a blue zone. Yeah. If anybody wants to participate, and we'd like to really try to be self-sufficient as much as we can. We'd really try, you know, in the future with power. But right now, I mean, I think the biggest thing with this coronavirus, Amanda, yeah. is food being self-sufficient, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I mean, you've got an electric power, we can do it. And you know what, when the power goes out, it's really not bad to stay warm. You can build, a, you can have a wood stove or and a gas good heater. Good question, Beth. Amanda, are you all keeping the big trees? Oh God, I, I'm the, I hate cutting any trees. Yes. The only thing we're cutting in is these, maybe cut little trails throughout there, just so it's it's um just cleaned up. And Becky said, I love the idea of the blue zone and the self-sufficiency. Uh, Michelle yeah. says, um, I'm a gardener, can't wait. Look, that's why I want people to have the freedom to plant flowers out in the park, around your home, and around bulbs, all kinds of bulbs. bulbs. So they come up in, in the fall, you know what, you know what we'll do? I would like to take a portion of the rent at the end of the year and say, hey, everybody, here's a kitty. Let's take that money and let's just like so go. We should do it right after it's open. Tons. Everybody should jump in and we, we can have, you know what, we can have um, stuff for the fall. Think about this. Come up. You know, I don't get any rent for two years. Right. Okay. But if everybody pitched in the first year a hundred bucks, yeah. that's what, six, seven thousand mm dollars -hmm. And go buy that much bulbs yeah. and trees and flowers mm -hmm. and stuff like that in a year. Oh my gosh. And then I'll do it after that, you know, after we get the rental coming in. And Raymond said, I've already bought in the resort and I'm telling you what, those properties oh. <laughs> Listen, are going to be stunning. They're different personalities. Absolutely. They take on a dip. Now, real quick, explain does this go around back in a circle? And well, then you can what is no, this going on? That's the road that goes around over there. What we did is we just cut through the middle of the park mm -hmm. just to give it access. So this will not be a road. Yeah, it will be a road. Yeah. Okay, it will be. I'm okay. going to make another road that ties in over there. This road goes around and hooks up to Jack Pine and Tamarack. Oh, let's see that. How far can we go? It's a little muddy, but yeah, come on. Let's go as far as we can. I think they want to see that. We've walked this a couple times. Yeah. But, um, so <clears> look how big. Ah! Look how big this is. This is two and a half acres, and you wouldn't believe oh how much space is here. Now, the track <clears throat> that we've installed around this 34 acres mm -hmm. is about a mile long. And we do. We need to map it. That's what somebody just said. Who said that? that we need to map it. That'd be cool. Everybody can see where the park is. Yep. Let's go as far as we can. Look at these flowers. Oh, you already showed them? Yeah. Look how pretty. I just, the, this land has been so neglected that there's vines up in the trees and it looks kind of, I don't know, unkept. And I just want to clean it up a little bit to make it look more parkish, yeah. you know? We got some water in the road, Amanda. Okay. I hate you having to carry that camera. I know, but it's hard walking with it. I bring Ace out here usually once or twice a day. 
and give him some exercise. And you know what's cool about having Ace is before I had him, I would never take the time to come out. I would just constantly work. And now that he needs exercise, I'm getting to come out here and force myself to really look yeah. and see what we really have. And you know what I'm learning? I'm just, I'm getting as much done as I did before. Yeah. You know, you don't miss it. It's like working out, taking care of certain things in your home and you say you never have time, <laughs> but you always have time. Yeah, <laughs> you're excited, mister. So excited. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Come on. Who said that? Arden said that uh, uh, Ace is a therapy dog. Yeah. Aren't you? Are you a therapy dog? <laughs> I hope we're not boring you guys. This is a tiny no, home we got community. We've got people. They're so excited. Tiny home community with a park in the middle of the community. That's so pretty. Yeah. So now this lane is yeah. meant to go. How far? A mile? Uh, it'll, it'll go all the way to the prairie and back and through across um, in front of the beach well, and back into the forest and then back around Tamarack Red Cedar. And then this will hook to Tamarack Red Cedar and then go back out and it's a full mile. Okay. So it's going to be a mile long. So let's see how far we can still go. Yeah. Probably not much further. We've just roughed this road in. Yeah. So we haven't, you know, sloped it to get rid of the water and different things, you know. Yeah, we haven't we haven't graded it or properly. Yeah. Listen to the frogs. Oh, they quit. When we get close to here, when we start talking, they quit. Ah. <laughs> sugar boogers, they quit. Now you'll see all the remnants of your um eat would you call them Easter lilies, Amanda? Flares, Easter flares. Now right here is the back side of the factory. Yes, this is, it's Sonic, I call it Sonicoa, they call it Sonoco. Isn't that beautiful? There's, there was an old homestead here, Amanda. Yes, I remember. Okay, they said we scared the croak out of them, <laughs> out of the frogs. So what we did is we, we had to have a lot of fill dirt. So we cut this through here, and now it's a trail and a road for yeah. us to walk through. And those are the flowers that were out there, the Easter lilies or flowers Amanda was talking about. Over here is the factory. Amanda, they're actually building a building over there. I see that. This is called Sunoco, uh -huh. not the gas company. They actually build round sauna tubes out of cardboard and paper. So they recycle okay. cardboard, paper, and there's always, they're always running. It's 24-7. You can kind of hear you can hear it, just motors running all the time, all right? And uh, that is not an active railroad. Tell what that no, is. No, this is a spur. So the one in the back, it actually spurred off right here. Mm -hmm. And this is the spur that goes across the street. There's never any cars. They don't really use it. Look here, Randy. What do you got, Daddy? Look at digging. What you got? Digging. What? <laughs> You've been busted, buddy. <laughs> Tamarack, okay. coming up on Tamarack. So if you live in Tamarack, you can come right out here, right out your back door and run around and go to the park. You can turn right and go over there to Red Cedar. Mm -hmm. You're right? And then go no, out to... Uh, well, in Red, well, I don't know. Where Red, or Red, Jack Pine. Jack Pine. Yeah, yeah I'm Jack sorry. Pine. Yep. And this will all be graded and graveled and, you know, so done when we're done. Tamarack 45. She said this will be going right by her lot. Awesome. I'm sorry, they can't hear you, Amanda. Oh, She's talking about Easter flowers. Yeah, All those are Easter right. flowers. All those they, they've done bloomed. They only bloom for a couple weeks and they're gone. Yeah, but then the, they will all be bloomed. And you know those come out in February. Yes, very early. Isn't that cool? Cold, yes. Yeah. Look how beautiful. Now, will this all be, how will this, will this stay like this and get green? Yeah, well, you know what I want to do is plant some grass and some vines that'll come down and cover all that. Mm -hmm. All kinds of ivy. Ivy, this would be great because it's so covered. Yes. Kind of the variegated ivy that you Love have at your house. It. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yep. I got that English ivy. That's the stuff we can do as everybody, when they come here to live, 
we can all participate and try to, you know, beautify everything, you know. Hang on. I'm sorry. Amanda's talking. Judy said you can dig these up and move them too. Yes, you of can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know right. what? Dig them up. Let's put them around every yeah. house for sure. Waiting on you. They can't hear you if I walk ahead. You know, we have really challenged the city and the county and the utility department with this community. We've challenged them in a lot of different ways. And, and in all reality, they have held up really well, Amanda, if you think about everything that's happened here, okay? First of all, they don't know what tiny homes are. They didn't know how to classify them. This is gonna be muddy, Amanda. Um, they had never done a community like this before. And, and really they hadn't done, I don't think they've done a community this large with 68 home sites in here, mm -hmm. right? And then they had a challenge in the elevation. You would think that all this, because it's away from the river, everything would flow towards the factory, and it doesn't. This road flows this way. That road flows that way. And then the other two flow the other way. So we've got pitches going everywhere, and this is why we thought all the sewer would go behind the plant where we invested large pumps. Mm -hmm. Ten grand I, I paid for pumps to be back there. This over here is another pump system that they've put in, okay? So now half of the resort or half of the um, forest comes this way. That's a pump that pumps the sewage to another plant and then goes to the treatment plant in town, which mm -hmm. is about a mile from here. So not and knowing- And the other one's behind the shop. Yeah, okay. so not knowing how to classify tiny homes, not knowing, you know, having the engineering done on here and for them to do everything that they've done and been so accommodating. And then the state of Tennessee has been accommodating. I mean, we call state officials and they talk to us. It's not like putting you off for a week or week. You can call and they call me back like the same day. I call the city over here. Um, his name is Lucas Graham and he's in charge of the co, it's like a county city uh, um, government cooperative. And he's ahead of that. And any issues I have, he has addressed them. He's been prompt. He's texted me. He calls me. This city, I think, is as proactive in every way they can be. They want to be proud of this place, even though it has been a hard place to live financially for right. a lot of folks for hundreds of years. But it has so many natural resources here. And they really are excited about us getting the 162 acres across the street. Mm -hmm. They're excited about this, this community we have here. We're employing now up to over 45, almost 50 employees now that we have in our factory. Isn't that something? Amazing. Now this up here on the hill, this yeah. is a part of Tamarack, right? Yeah. Yeah, Tamarack splits right here. So it goes up there and it goes down here. Wow. So these are the low-lying lots. Isn't these beautiful back in here? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. man. Now, so you can think your house is back here and then you're backed up to the park. Yeah. Over there, they're up high, they're looking down over on these. Wow. It's such a different, every, every lot in here has just got some really beautiful Honestly, things. She's on the upper tamarack. Upper tamarack. Upper tamarack, she's up there. So we're yeah. We're walking out through here. This is cool, we haven't been out through here in a while. So all the sewer is in now. And you know now what's holding this up? What? When you know the coronavirus. I know the coronavirus. Put it this way. Gosh. If it was to happen, it is happening. <laughs> if it wasn't the rain. I know, rain. Do you know, I talked to Lucas Cram. He's born and raised here. He's over the cooperative, right? Amanda, he's what? I guess he's 50 years old. I don't know. My age. Do you know what he said? That in all his life, he's only seen that river flood 
three times in his lifetime, and all three have been since 05. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So we've had more rain in history in the last two years ever. And then the coronavirus on top of that. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that? There's the upper camera everybody's talking about. Yeah. Hey, they can't hear you. She's she's describing upper camera. That's okay. We need to get another microphone for you. Why don't we just get one? Can you wear one like this too? And look at here, Amanda, $206,000, and here's a manhole. What do you think about that, everybody? So, with your money, I wrote a check to the city of Newport for $206,000, I think $6,000, and we got sewer. What do you think wow. about that? Yep, and now there's are lots up there. See those? All right. We done? We can walk down, look down Tamarack. I like how it, see how it curves yeah, if around? We can, if we can walk down through there, it'd be good. What was that? I want to show you. What? Oh, that road? Yeah, see how it curves. How it goes up. And look how pretty it is. And man, look how rough everything is. Not, nothing's finished, graded, and it's still gorgeous. You wait till we get homes in here cars, people, flowers. You get all this going. Look at that, how it road splits. Come on. Tell me that ain't gorgeous. So this one is, uh, where, where's my finger? Oh, there it is. Whoa. Upper, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Tamarack? Yep. Lower Tamarack. Yep. Okay. Upper and lower. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, what's this? This is just the road, and we got a little boulevard there. The boulevard that goes around. No house, but there's houses. Yeah, houses. Yeah, everything's a house. Mm -hmm. Over here's homes. Yep. Good boy. Yeah, so you got a home here. We're leaving all these big trees. We're leaving, leaving everything. You can see how it's greening up. Another manhole right here, Amanda. So we got another manhole here. Love it. We actually, think about it. We put in a small city. This is 68 home sites in here, 68 home sites. I love it because it's still wooded as much as possible. You wouldn't believe the flack that I got in designing. Every time I design something, they always, people just scratch their head and they're like, how's this gonna work? How's this gonna work? And I had this picture in my mind when I started this out. And you know what? 68 people believed in us to make this happen. I can't thank you enough. But I had this in my mind, how I wanted the roads, how I wanted this boulevard, and Yump, Y-U-M-P, that's our excavator. We've been buddies for 20 some years. He knows what I want. And he put these roads in exactly how we wanted them done and the lots and how they lay. And I just, I can't wait till Christmas, holidays, having little street lights down here. It's gonna be nice. I think people are gonna finally feel at home and you're gonna feel like you really have something. And good question, Travis, is electric is next, right? Yeah, electric and water. Okay, so the sewer is done, electric and water is yeah. next. And then Melanie said, it's real muddy there. Is you going to put gravel down next or put gravel down? You have to. Who's right? Melanie who? Melanie. You know, Melanie, we sold a house too. Melanie. Well, you got to do something. I can't leave it muddy like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just, you know what? That makes me like I shouldn't show something until it's done. Yeah, we're going to, we got to grade it and level it and put gravel. Not only gravel, but we put a geotech fiber down. Yeah. And the geotech fiber goes down over top of this. So this will be graded very smooth, like a finished finished beautiful. product. Yeah. Then we put geotech fiber on every lot, every driveway, and all the roads. And on top of that is another 68 inches of gravel, the stuff you've seen out there, but it's very fine powder-like. And when we roll it and we um, vibrate it into place, 
it's like concrete. Yeah. Okay. The geotech fiber keeps it from going when everybody runs up and down here all the time with their car tires mm -hmm. and how it gets rutted out. Well, that's because the ground beneath it is not stable and it just starts sinking. And over the years, you got to keep adding gravel. The geotech fiber prevents that from happening. It's funny. Um, I love what, uh, who was it? A couple of people said, Lynette and Diana said, Yump Road. Because <laughs> Yump, Yump will be putting the gravel down? Yep. Or? Yeah, of course he will. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, this is all, I mean, this is, everybody, this is just rough. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, this is under construction. Ace, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Look at him running. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Look at him. Come on, buddy. Woo! Come on, buddy. Ah, good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. That's right. Of the lot. Okay, well, here's a pole. Okay, so stand right here, Amanda. So that could be, this could be either, this could be either parking right here, parking or a home. Right. Okay, so then I'm going to go to the end of the lot. We got woods. This could be the parking or a home. More woods. This is the other end of the lot. I'm way down here. She's screaming. One more. Yep, this is one lot. So you got trees, house, trees, parking, trees, another house. Wow. Yep. And there's 68. There's 68 home sites in the forest. Wow. And then we got 36 in the beach. And I don't know how many in the prairie. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about limiting the prairie to about 30. That's a good idea. You know what? So crowded. Yeah, there's just stuff I want to do in the prairie, and I'm just, I'm just not, you know, I'm not trying to pack them in. The beach packed in just because there's nothing else to do there. Yeah. And I love that whole, the whole mindset of the beach. And it's going to be cool. And they don't have the numbers on them right here. Do um, they? yeah, I don't know if they correlate with what you have on the map. They this is this is lot 55, and this is and this is lot 56. Yeah. Out well, you got to go over the creek and out there to that pile of dirt way out there. He's digging. He's in everything. <laughs> and Benji said, I love that beach because of the concrete. Me, yeah, see, so it, I love, has their thing. I, people want to be in the prairie and there's people love the forest. And I think it's just so cool because there are three distinct communities yeah. in one. Very distinct. Yep. Well, you'll have to come back. We've been on for 84 minutes. We'll have to come back and show Red Cedar and Butternut. Holy smoke. Well, and where are we at now? Tamara, we'd have, and Jack, how about a different day? Yeah, yeah, we'll come back out. You know, um, it rains again. It's supposed to be a really pretty day tomorrow. I'll clear up a lot of this. Well, we should do it tomorrow. Then. Mud. Sure. Can we come back tomorrow. That's then? fine. Yeah. Look at him, man. He's happy. You happy, buddy? Yeah. Tell him let's come on tomorrow and show the next. The All right. Street. I tell you what. We'll come on tomorrow. We'll show you the other streets. We got one over here that's uh, Jack, Jack Pine. Pine. This is Tamarack. Then we got um, butternut and red cedar. So we'll show those tomorrow because it sure. ain't supposed to rain. Yeah. Um, and then what I want to do though, I want to, you guys remember the resort across the street. It's 162 yeah. acres. And I didn't want to start it because we had all this going on. This is not overwhelming. This is, this is just happening. I don't have to come out and actually do We're this. We're just waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting to do it. So that land came up for sale. I didn't want it to turn into a motocross track. No. What we heard about. So I thought, let's try to make this thing happen. So we've been extended two more months to make that happen. Yes. So if you're interested in the resort, you don't pay any money down on a lot. 
You just buy a house and then in the size home is 10 by 26 through 30 or bigger, you get two years free rent included in the purchase of your home. All right, so if you're interested in that, give us a call. And we're, we talked to the accountant today about our financing. Yes. And all they have to do is review it. The accountant's been out of town, he's coming. If it's not the corona, if it's not out of town, the accountant, <laughs> if it's not the secretary of state, if it, if, it's, if it ain't the rain, if it ain't something else, it's always a fight, you know? And it, you know what it is? And there's always somebody that I'm, I'm right neck to neck competing with and they'll start shining and real pretty. Yeah. And I'll look, oh, but I'll guarantee you, I will stomp you and outdo you in the long end of it. So hang with me yeah, and I'll guarantee you, we will come out better than any other community, any other person putting this something like this together. Oh yeah. We will come out ahead, everybody. Oh yes. I'm just a late I bloomer. I want you to say it again. You're gonna stomp everybody. That's I'm gonna stomp them. Stomp them in the ground. <laughs> I love competition, and believe me, it's on. There's some stuff going on around here you wouldn't believe. And you know that what? That is true, Travis. Said, guys, everything's been delayed at least three months because of the coronavirus, and that is true. Well, yeah, and at then least. last year when we started this, yeah. it rained for four oh, months. Oh, it come down in sheets. Four months, mm -hmm. and then it rained another winter like it did last winter. Now, I've never seen so much rain. No, and then nobody has around the country either. No, everybody and in this area. Wet. Yes. Yeah, but as you can see, as much as it's rained, it's never flooded here. Yes, no. never. Mm -mm. And we've had record 100, 500 year floods here. Yeah. It's been beautiful. Gorgeous. So everybody, thank you. Yeah, tomorrow we'll come. We'll show you a couple more streets on this. Um, we did all of Tamarack and that we did Tamarack and the park yep, today. Exactly. Okay. I wanted to show you because it's it's turning green. It's real pretty Gorgeous. and it's you know springtime here in Tennessee. And uh, just to just to reference, um, there's a gentleman uh, Zach and his wife are from Michigan, and this was their first winter here mm -hmm. in Tennessee. He couldn't believe how beautiful it was. Gorgeous. It wasn't super cold. We had 70 degree weather in the middle of January, middle of December, and middle of February. Then it got cold again. Who was it that just said that, Janet? Uh, Janet, we're going to put that on the build schedule. Said Randy needs the ne next thing he needs to build is an ark. <laughs> and we're going to put that on the build schedule. We'll a build A tiny it. ark, Melanie said. Yeah. So that's what we need is a tiny, tiny ark. ark. There you go. Yeah, we'll put it right out so we can all jump on it. <laughs> and we'll take a picture of it. Everybody, I want to build tree houses here, yes. stilt homes. When I see all these guys doing them on the internet, it makes yes. me so mad because I know I've been wanting to do this for years. Forever. I've been wanting to put them on barges and floating them and tree houses, and it's just so you much name stuff. It. I just didn't have any money. Right. And this is what I got to do to Wait make a, a living. You ain't got no money now. I still ain't got any money. <laughs> you ain't got no money. It is so hard to make this business oh. when you're selling it for less than everybody. Yeah. And, and the spending and buying and growing and mm -hmm. paying your bills and then money. <laughs> Maria said, I love this too. You guys are so witty. Maria said, the world is your tiny oyster. <laughs> I love it. And Diana said, thanks for the wonderful update. We know this is running long. But everybody wants to see what everything's going on, and that's why Randy and we show everything. Yeah, I know what you guys want. I know what you guys want. When I have time just to think about what's going on, I mean, that's why I try to build the homes that you want to build, make them cottagey looking, and on, you know, just custom. And I'm almost always going to do custom, no matter what the no the matter industry what. does. I don't want to cookie cut nothing out. No. Our men and women that work here, they love building these artistic homes. That's what I want to bring. Yeah. It is hard to do. And I, I'm telling you what, Albert's coming up as being the one that always gets the, the unusual, unique houses, too. Yeah, so it is. He's really enjoying it, too. So, everybody, this is a long ride. I hope you yes. enjoy it. Thank you for tuning in every night when we come on here. But we will continue to show you how we live and what's yeah. going on. And can you imagine when you got 68 people living here? Oh, my God. We're about to. Can you imagine when they're living we're about here? To. We're walking down and there's homes and cars there's and people and stuff and, and dogs fighting each other and biting and people screaming. And what? It'll be mass chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you more. Well, I got a question. Yeah. We're at the end. We're at the very beginning of Tamarack. Yeah. Are we going to have to go all the way back around or can we get across here? We got to go across that bridge you walked across. But it's, that's it's, no, it's right there. Oh, good. To okay. the right. Yep. All right, well, we'll walk it out. Walk it out. You know, walk it out. Come on, Ace. Good night, everybody. Good night. So long. <laughs> we hate, hate to say plane. goodbye. I walk the plank. Yeah, come on. Well, wait a minute. I don't want to talk. Farewell. You see those trees? Amanda. Look. You've got to keep walking. Look, I'm
Can you guys just hear her squalling? You can't. They can't hear what you're saying. All they hear. Is, I want them to see stuff. It's dark. They can see. They can see it. Breathe, Randy. Well, breathe. Dog. Um, breathe. I walk, you stop. Uh, will you keep on walking? You're supposed to be I like got a, the microphone. You're supposed to be like a silhouette, like oh, walking so like, out. Quit oh, stopping. It's like, like the sunset. Yeah, you look foolish. Keep walking. Like Just the sunset. All right, I'm leaving. Good. All right, come on, Ace. <laughs> a man and his dog. <laughs> you can't step across that, can you? I don't know. Somebody just said Let's it. Let's go this way. It's so relaxing to see what's going on. Man, I'm glad they're relaxed because I'm not. You me out. God, I can't wait till this show's over. I need a place like that uh, park. I need to get me some apple cider in my gut and turn it all to pieces, Amanda. So God, you stress me. I'm going to my house. <laughs> this is my hat. This is my hat. This is my hat. This is totally my hat. That's hot rod, everybody. We're stupid about movies. They're like brain dead movies. God, they got some cool quotes. Oh, so Come on. Okay. Look at Ace. Look you cross track? What's he gonna do? Oh, what a good boy. Piece of cake, man. Oh God. Oh. So help me if I fall down in this. Good Lord. Okay. Go. Well, you gotta go over there. Gotta come push me. Well, boy, this wasn't a relaxing walkout. <laughs> 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 God, man, you're un you're unbalanced. You know what? Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> Look at that, like, Good night, everybody. Ah, oh, look at isn't, isn't that cool, everybody? Look oh, at all beautiful. that, man. From the backyard to this, that's the American dream. It's Mac and Dweeb. Mac and Dweeb. Mac and Dweeb. Dusty, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes. Mac and Dweeb. They probably don't know who Dusty Rhodes is. <laughs> well, he's dead now, but it was the uh, WWE. <laughs> he was a wrestler. <laughs> hey, forget any sentimental moment, all right? It's going to be chewed up and spit out. And I bet Travis would have something to say. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> Bye, See ya. I got to get Ace. What do you think, buddy? Not a problem. Good boy.